Hello everyone, in this section we will be covering persisting data between our application launches. We will be taking a look at the Codable protocol and conforming our data source to this protocol. We will take a look at the file manager and the file manager will handle reading and writing to disk and then we can take a look at how we can fetch and save items from disk. In this video we will go over Codable. Codable is a protocol that will allow our data type, in this case our entry, to be able to read JSON and turn it into our entry data type and also write JSON. So it will take our entry data type and turn it into JSON. We will also go over coding keys in case we ever need to give our actual data type different key names. So let's talk about Codable. Let's go to our entry class and conform to this Codable protocol. This Codable protocol allows us to very quickly and easily take all of our properties and be able to save them into a particular file format based off of an encoder and decoder. So we will be saving our entries as JSON, which is a very standard format on the web. So all we have to do is conform our type to Codable and conform our custom color to Codable. And Codable will allow the whole type to be conformed to this Codable because title, which is a string, and custom color, which is an int, already knows how to conform to this protocol. So as long as those two types are conforming to it, it will work very easily out of the box. And then we can define this coding keys and choose one of our properties, so title, and change what the key will actually look like when it's saved. So in this case, title will now be ID, but we don't really need that, but it's just nice to know that that exists.